It's really good. You know, we just got done with the exams uh, this past week, so uh, feeling really good about, you know, just attacking the week and really starting football again. You're one of the guys who has been through this kind of bowl experience before. What are you going to talk to tell some of the freshmen, sophomores who haven't been through this just and what kind of what to expect and what you can get out of the extra practices? I really just play it day by day. You know, we've we've really used these past couple of days for uh, the freshmen to go out there and really improve on things they may not have known like uh, prior to this season. So we've been really, uh, you know, just taking as many reps as possible uh, so we could go out there and be comfortable uh, when the game starts. Were you and other guys on the team thinking or hoping for Florida uh, to play a bowl game in Florida? I, I, I really wanted any bowl game, but, you know, to actually be able to go down there in Florida, uh, some warm weather, uh, I'm not complaining. So Were you following that circus that Sunday, though, thinking, hey, I might be going home and, and playing in front of Nashville for my final game with Tennessee, and then the switcheroo happened, and you go to Jacksonville? Uh, no, no. I, I, I was actually at uh, – my mom actually pulled up on me, and she was cooking me dinner, so I was really distracted. <laughs> <laughs> you, so you didn't have any friends or family members who were gobbling up tickets that had the uh, – No, my, my, my parents, they, they don't really keep up with social media, and – I, I try. I try to stay off of it as much as I can. So I, I was too busy eating. And had my teammates tell me. What were you? Man, my, my mom's African food. I promise y'all some, but I promise I'll get it to you <laughs> if I don't eat it all. Coach <laughs> Quinn said you didn't expect any of the any of the seniors or any of the guys with the Vanderbilt futures to not play in this bowl game. Why do you think that was? And, and did you make a decision on your own about that? Man, it's it's about a team thing. You know, we we, we knew going into the season, uh, we're devoted into Tennessee. Uh, it's much bigger than us, so. You know, for us to uh, work so hard, go into this season and uh, not play this bowl game, it's no, nah, that wasn't an option. You know, we wanted to finish the season strong, and we plan on doing that. You mentioned uh, exams earlier. How did those uh, how did those go for you? They went well, but they're out of the way, and not, not before fall. So, yeah. You're one of the guys that uh, also got you know, the, the, is getting the chance to play for another uh, bowl game coming up for the yes, uh, NFLPA game. What's it like getting selected to, to play in something like that? Oh, definitely excited. Uh, definitely excited about it. And all uh, thanks to my teammates for allowing me to be in a position to make plays uh, so I can uh, have the opportunity to go to go to this bowl game. But I owe them for I owe them one for all the hard work they've done for me. So uh, I'm going to go in each and every day, approach and practice uh, with the right mindset so I can help us win this game any way I can. What can a guy like J.J. Peterson and some of the other younger inside linebackers really get out of this first week, 10 days of bowl prep before you guys start focusing on Indiana? Really just trying to get even more comfortable with the defense. You know, going out there and actually having to make calls uh, with the whole team around watching you, it's, it's like a stadium atmosphere. You know, when everybody's watching you and uh, the whole team's together on one field, it's really good for those guys to really go out there and communicate in front of everybody with all eyes on them. So all the young guys have been doing a really good job of being focused and being honed in on uh, what they're supposed to be doing. And I'm glad uh, with really how everybody's going out there and really approach the practices. And uh, we're getting better each and every day. We got the early signing period coming up on Wednesday. You're a guy that you know uh, has been through some ups and downs here at Tennessee. But what would be your message after this turnaround and going to a bowl game for, for some of these maybe future future guys? Think about picking Tennessee. Man, if we we all see Coach Pruitt and the work he's doing, you know, for him to come here and turn things around the uh, things around the way he did, you know, how, how can you not want to come to Tennessee? And you know, he's going to uh, continue to do what he's been doing and. Uh, we know Coach Pruitt's a winner, and if you want to win, uh, Tennessee's the right place to come to. So that's what I say to these young guys. When you see the younger linebackers making calls in practice, how, how does where they are sort of right now compared to where they were, you know, when you were out? Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's it's <clears throat> it's been really good. You know, we've also had a couple guys uh, switch rooms. You know, uh, like Aaron Beasley and mm -hmm. a bunch of those guys. But yeah, they for them to go out there and feel more comfortable, like each and every day, uh, really feels good for me. Uh, you know, all those guys are really working hard to really improve each and every day.